What's up, bro, guys? Rocking the first print. Mm, 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 mm. The first three, I just, they washed completely out. This was the first one that came out decent. It's got ink on it already because I already made a couple of tees from it. So this was the graphic that I actually used on here. Uh, by the way, when the light hit it, it hardened everything around it. The image was softer, it washed out. And I'm gonna do it this one over, that's why I'm not gonna show up this shirt. I, li I like to name them. This one was the all-star one. That's what I'm calling this, the all-star one. When I put them on shirts, that's what it's gonna be. This is the logo that I'm rocking on my chest. It's the all-star two. So the all-star two came out a lot better. I still got some problems right here with my E. I gotta get a clear clean out. I'm gonna need some more screens because I can't reuse these anymore until I get some emulsion remover that'll take off that blue greenish stuff so I can start fresh. I need bigger screens. I didn't realize how small they were when I ordered them, so. Pretty spot on. There's a little bit of detail missing, but we'll get there. That's the All-Star too. I just started slamming that thing on everything. I threw it on a couple of shirts. I put it on a hoodie. I was like, oh yeah, you know, All-Star apparel. I think it's looking good. The screen for that one. Uh, the ink doesn't really dry unless you heat it, so it's still a little wet. I didn't clean it off very well. And now today for your viewing pleasure. Give me one second, I gotta get a cloth. That ink, it gets on stuff. And you don't want to get that ink on stuff. Especially when you're working with a white shirt. I gotta get gloves. About to start a whole operation. Today, you fabulous people will get to see the birth of the All-Star 3. Now, the All-Star 3 is not my favorite design. It's not my least favorite. Got these little robots. I'm feeling them. We're gonna see how well that comes out on the shirt. This is gonna be the first time I print on this one because I wanted to save something for the video. And just pop up. <laughs> so we're gonna print the All-Star 3 onto the shirt. As you can see, I didn't do it perfectly because there's a black border. That black border isn't going to completely be filled in. But we're gonna still try our luck. One thing I forgot, I didn't buy masking tape or painting tape because it's supposed to go around the edges. Actually, I'm about to run across the street to the store, see if they have anything like that real quick. So I'm gonna edit myself back with results. So the store right across the street from me didn't have any tape. Work with what we got. This is packing tape. They say it hurts the screen because I wanna show you the video. I don't have the time to go to the store and go buy some tape. I just don't. We're gonna put this around our borders so that anywhere that's not blocked off can be blocked off. I'll try to save some of that edge. Just say that printing your own t-shirts, pretty dope. This one right here got me feeling like, you know, I am doing something, right? I'm doing something. I'm somebody, I'm getting someone. Uh, you see there, let's get in there. There we got a little hole. That will leave little specks on your shirt. So let's cover that little hole. Cover. A little bitsy hole. Maybe this is another little bitty hole. Two, I'm probably never gonna get a, another good use out of these three screens, but I don't care because still learning. So now we've got our screen. It's taped up, ready to go. We're gonna put it in our little vice thing over here with the, our center. My screen's so small, I can't get the upper chest. It's hard for me to get the upper chest when I put it actually around the board. So I actually, I'm gonna have to print this. Just the shirt being on top of here. Let's get our shirt. We're gonna go with a nice darker gray. Hmm. How well is the black gonna show on that? I think we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully it shows well enough to be seen. So normally I would want to take this shirt and load it on in here. I want to put it on here, line it up, center it, bring this down, right? But because 
my screen isn't big enough because it should be able to go up to here. So this way I can get the image more in the center. So because I can't do that while it's on there because my screen is too small, I have to get bigger screens. I'm going to just do it with the shirt not on here and a little bit of eyeballing. So we're gonna just bring it back so we can get it where we want it right now. So I get some more screens next week. So let's line it up, see where it's at. So it's looking like it's still a little bit too high now. Boom, that might be perfect. Now, really you're supposed to have a heat gun because after I get my ink on and I do my thing, I'm supposed to have a heat gun to dry it because this is plastisol ink, which just means fancy word for a thick, like rubber based plastic ink. So it's not gonna fade. This is gonna outlive your shirt. I could use a hair dryer to get a little bit of a quick dry sometimes, but the hair dryer is not really working as well as the heat gun. The most effective thing I found so far is uh, the light that I use to expose. I got one of these lights right, from Walmart. It was like $10. This light that I use to expose screens also puts on a nice amount of heat, like stupid heat. And if you get it close enough, it starts to cook it. So it works pretty much just as well as what we want to do. So at the moment, that's how I've been curing my shirts. Where's my squeegee? Oh, it's, it's out here. Found it. This is not really the best kind of squeegee you want to use. This one, um, it's a small little starter kit kind of one. I gotta get the bigger ones. We're gonna apply our, our ink. Then we're gonna flatten it down over everything. Should get a clean product. Let's get started. The moment you've been waiting for, unless you skip forward, in which case the moment that you skip for. This ink is crazy, stupid, wild. So be careful with it. Ugh. <laughs> Need my cloth again. So I've just been using the cloth and some alcohol to get this ink off of myself and other objects. So I don't have nothing fancy to tell you to get this ink out with. I had some uh, shish kebab sticks because I didn't have no popsicle sticks or nothing. So uh, we're just going to take a nice amount. We're just going to spread it below our image. Just to make sure the whole sides are taken up. All right. Possible because this thing, it's like black death. And it's like every time you open it, you get ink on yourself. Now we've got everything in place. We're ready. And we're gonna pass over our screen. I'm gonna do it again over here because you know, we missed a little bit. Then, you gonna apply some pressure. Apply some good pressure. Looks like I'm missing some over here. That's why you're supposed to get a good amount, but since this is a demonstration video, I don't know how many t-shirts I plan on making. I don't wanna waste my ink on the side here so we can fill in. Right. And we're gonna take our thing again. This time, we gotta get that side, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna get all my stuff to one side and I'm going to lift up my screen. And that is the first All-Star 3 print. Now, we're gonna take it and I'll put it under this light for a little bit and I'll just let the heat cook it in. Like here, it still looks a little dark. The center is looking a little light, like it's cooking. The edge over here is still a little dark. So let me see if I can move this around. When you put one layer like I did, if you lift it up a little bit and you dry it a little bit, you drop it back down, you put a second layer, you get that more raised feeling. You already have a little bit of a raised, like you have a little bit of a raised touch. I don't wanna touch it yet, but you have a little bit of a raised touch. And you get, well, mm, yeah, still needs to. But you get a little bit more of that raised feeling the more layers that you apply. So we're just gonna keep this in. And uh, 
I'll take that off and show you what it's looking like when it's, when it's done. I'm still not gonna use the board. I'm just gonna push it down like I did so I can get a higher print only because I don't have a bigger screen. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Eh? Looking good, right? You see all the little robots and everything. And everything. So we're gonna drop it, look centered. Hopefully everything's correct. It is just a video. So now we're gonna make sure we got all our sides covered. If I had a bigger squeegee and was going this way and it was perfectly lined up, I wouldn't have to pass on the left and the right, most likely. So we're gonna pass all the way on the left for sure. And then come back and we'll pass on the right. And now we'll get some good strokes. Some nice deep strokes. And then I'm gonna bring it back, clean my screen. See, I got a couple dots on the sides because my tape failed me. I think I'm gonna try this one on. Oh, snap, it's looking good. All three of the designs feature. First one that you didn't get to see on a shirt. If you want any of these three shirts, just hit me up on my channel. I'm trying to give away a few. Our white shirt should be about done right now. If you want merch for your own self, or for your business, clubs, birthday party, something. And just leave a comment. I answer every comment. Every comment I answer. So just leave a comment and I'll get back to you and we'll work out the material, the color, the price, you know, what, what you want to put on the shirt, the text, the logo. If I have to help you design something, because I design these myself. So if I have to help you design something or if you have your own design, just submit it in and we do it like that. So let's go get that shirt. All right. So that's the old star three on the white shirt comparison. I think it looks good. You know, I'm a holla at y'all. I got to clean up. I got stuff to do. Uh, I'm about to start a new job. We'll talk about that on another date. I got a lot of stuff to do. YouTube doesn't pay the bills yet. So peace.